Uh, so uh, sorry, I see this all these aluminum molds. These are the uh, things we're gonna use. These large ones, those are for compression molding, and these smaller ones, they are for uh, injection molding. And we have so uh, these are the injection molding mold, and then molds, and then these three are coins. Well, this one is a kitten, which are uh, from uh, last year's lab, CNC lab. So you'll see that later on, if you look closely onto this uh, mold, you'll see that there's, there are some scratches on top of it. And everything on this mold will eventually reflect on your part, on your uh, injected, inject, injected molded part. Okay. So what I'm going to do, as always, we got acetone. We're just gonna use the white acetone and the paper towel to clean up the surface, and then we'll apply a uh, mold release on this uh, compression molding mold. So yeah, that's always just kind of you know, spread coming out. This is the uh, uh, Freco 770 uh, MC. So it's a kind of mold release. Like what we always do, we're just gonna apply this, apply a thin layer of this mold release on top of all our compression molding mold. Okay. Well, I hope still works. That might be the broken one. So uh, here we have our injection molding machine. Uh, we have our first mold. This is going to be one that is uh, not hot and uh, we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. So we're going to put that in a clamp right here. And our molds need to be in a clamp because there is a lot of high pressure when you injection mold. So it needs to be very, very tight. Okay, so we have our mold in our vise now. So we're going to put this in here. Now's a lot real quick. So here we're going to jack up our mold to the nozzle here. So our, our mold is now uh, jacked up to the appropriate height. And uh, so now we have plastic inserted here. This jack, when air pressure is applied at 75 PSI, will now force plastic down and it heats it up right here. And it will go out the nozzle and into our mold. So we are holding this for 30 seconds this time. So I'm gonna start, uh, I'm going to start injection molding it and uh, pushing the plastic into it. Once the plastic has, uh, we know that the plastic is fully, uh, fully taken up the cavity inside, uh, we will start the timer for 30 seconds and um, 
then we'll take it off. So I'm going to start. As you can see, some of our uh, some plastic came out the side. That is due to uh, the high pressure needed to injection mold. So that's uh, already that's already understood when we do this. So we start at the counter for 30 seconds, and now we will release it when uh, release it when it is fine. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so our pressure is released up there. I'm going to lower the mold down. Kind of As y'all can see, uh, that's left over from our nozzle and uh, that came out the side. So as you can see, uh, the mold started to separate with the plastic. Uh, that's why uh, a clamp is uh, required. Or you can use uh, bolts to bolt the mold together. Several different methods, but this is a common method that we use. So now we will let this uh, cool down before we take it out of the mold. Very tight. Okay. Uh, open up. Okay, you can see uh, the overflow from the sideways and also some overflow from the top. Here is actually where the uh, injection hole located. And then all you need to do is kind of trim off the accessory ones. And then you will have your uh, face part. Okay, we'll take four holes later. All right. Not heated, non hold time molds are already set up here for, for the injection molding. So, as soon as I see plastic come out the sides of the mold, is when I will uh, release the pressure. So, here we go. So as you can see, I took it out immediately after I saw that plastic come out. And we will let this cool down and then we'll take it out of the mold and see how it came out. So this is our heated, uh, one of our heated injection molds. Uh, we uh, are going to hold this for 30 seconds after we see plastic come out. So let's go ahead and do that now.
something that's not Uh, we are not going to hold this, so uh, as soon, again, as soon as I see plastic, I'm going to release the pressure. See, I just now took it off as soon as I saw the plastic. So we'll let this cool down and take it out. So we have open all our mold and uh, you can see we have put it here, we got all different kind of uh, conditions. So we'll start to compare the outcome of each one. So uh, you see these are not here mold, so you can see it's, uh, I think the quality is fairly good. But the issue is, if you look at here, you have this, if you look at the top of the, the uh, coin, it's actually losing some details there uh, to focus on the letter. And also, uh, you can see a little bit of uh, shrinking, uh, shrinking mark on the surface. And same thing for the other one. So you start to lose detail on the top. And now we have the heated mode. So I'll start with this, this coin because it's more of a comparison. So it got pretty good details and the surface is very smooth. But if you uh, put it to the sideway a little bit, you can see the coin is warping a little bit, which means that when the uh, hot plastic starts to cool, it tends to uh, Work and we didn't. We actually didn't hold it, hold, hold the uh, mold uh, tightly together, so we can't allow that molding to happen. And then the last one. Well, you can see we didn't really uh, finish, so we only got one letter. Uh, my guess is that the channel for uh, injecting the uh, plastic is. Too, uh, too narrow. So you, you probably already see the part. It's really, it's a really thin piece. But still, for what have uh, finished, you actually get very good details. You can see that these machining lines are exactly matching the original mold. So these machining machining lines are exactly matching the uh, original mold, and the, the letters are very clear. But again, the problem is if it, this piece is really thin, 
before it can enter and fill the whole cavity, it already starts to cool down and then blocks whatever behind the it, uh, behind that part. So it can't really have the part fully developed. That's the problem. At least what we think the problem is. <coughs> 